Hey everybody, I'm Demon and welcome to hell. And this right in front of you is a new tail section for a loading ramp to a ferry. Uh, made up of predominantly 10 by 50 beam uh, and 12 by 50 beam. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Here's what it is. You're looking at it. Uh, there's been some discussion on full weld and partial welds and why everything has to be full welded. No, everything doesn't have to be full welded because it's a senseless use. That, that's more weight, more time, more money when you don't need it. Uh, on most of this, what I've chosen to do is called chain intermittent. So that means that you have a weld on either side of the plate in short sections. So 4 inch, 6 inch gap, 4 inch, 6 inch gap, or whatever. And the reason why I've chosen chain intermittent, especially for the bottom of this loading ramp, um, is it's, because it's used to displace its weight, but the main factor as this dock gets dragged around back and forth by a cat or a track hoe, gets pulled side to side, uneven ground, frozen ground, gets ripped up and lifted and yanked. The whole purpose of the chain intermittent welds on this thing is when they grab and tear and bend a piece of steel, it puts too much stress on those points that it's not allowed to do. And you'll rip the weld. I mean, steel rips. Where is it going to rip? At a join or at its point of greatest leverage, right? So rather than starting a tear in a weld and having it continue through the whole length, it ends at the weld. And now you have, uh, now it's taken up that, it's essentially relieved its stress and the rest of the welds are holding it. Then you can be able to look at it and repair that short section rather than, you know, tearing a whole chunk out and that's the biggest reason it's all on the bottom but ev all the beam connections that's a hundred percent weld um, the angle iron at the end uh, chain intermittent number one doesn't need to be full full welded plus another reason for chain intermittent is to stagger um, it's for distortion control you know you weld here, you weld here, because on this unit, the way all the welds end up, all the pull is in one direction, and you're going to end up with a big U, a big banana, if you welded it all in full. So by going chain intermittent or staggered intermittent welds, then it allows me to go and weld here, weld here, weld here, weld here, all in distortion control. Remember, at the end, you've got a big chunk of iron. The welds got to be where they are, but how do you deal with the pull of all those welds when they're on one side? You either have to do, you know, your proper weld control, or you have to do strong backs, and multiple of things. So, those are some of the reasons why. All right. Now, as you can see, what I've done here is that I've been able to take any twist out of the beam. I've been able to mitigate all the stress and strains and all my components and at the end if you even took a camera view from that angle iron down now you'll see it's all straight because that's the point the highest point of warp warpage because there's a lot of welds pulling that not to mention all the inside welds of this beam all pull pull in this way um, and notice the chain intermittent are only on the repads. So this is these are the plates where it's actually sitting, contacting the ground, and spreading out the weight load. Now remember this loading ramp, this particular ferry, uh, I think only has a maximum load of 60 ton, I can't remember. So basically one grain car. Uh, a B train is usually about 60,000 pounds, but they put in 110. <laughs> so, um, really at any time, 
you're only handling 60 ton, which is whatever. And this is the tail section. Remember, there's right on this leading edge, there's fold up ramps that will compensate as well. I hope I answered all your questions. We can talk about it forever, but this is what you got. Any other questions? Comment sections. And remember, if you're a dick to me, I'll be a dick right back. So treat me with a little respect, and I'll do the same to you. Oh, and if you like that, please subscribe. Here, there. I don't know what the fucking button is, but press it.